So welcome to Philo. Um, it's a DNA puzzle game. I hope content ID doesn't get annoying with the music. I'm going to turn it down. Because God knows what this music is. Right. Okay. So I've gone and picked an infectious disease. And apparently i got to do something with this. What is this? I don't even know what I'm doing. Click stuff. You're shooting lasers. Yeah, was there like a tutorial for this? Yeah, there is. Let's do the tutorial first, yeah? <laughs> so basic rules and tips. In Philo, your goal is to move sequences of blocks horizontally to create maximum number of columns of similar colors. Each color match gives you a bonus. However, the sequences are not identical, so color mismatches and gaps are unavoidable and you receive penalties for that. The challenge is to find the best trade-off between bonuses and penalties. Smaller blocks highlight mismatches. <clears throat> uh, bonuses and penalties for color matches and mismatches are small, but the cost of gaps is big. It's usually preferable to have a long gap rather than several small ones. Try to minimize the number of gaps. Wow, this looks pretty crazy. Uh, did you notice the tree on the left? It tells you whether the se which sequences must be aligned in priority. This is helpful when you have to favor one color match versus one versus another. It's more important to conserve identical patterns for sequences in the same group rather than increasing similarities between different groups. <laughs> to reach the final stage, you need to pass the levels. The, this requires to beat the par i.e. computer score. When your score is equal or higher, a shiny star appears. Uh, click on it to reach the next stage. When all the sequences are on the board, try to get the highest score possible and submit the star again. So, replayability. Uh, scoring information are available at the top of the game board. Blue bar indicates your current score. Red marker indicates the par. Um, and the green marker indicates your current best. Basic information is available at the bottom. There you will find advancement in the game, stages, number of match, mismatch, and gap. You can revert at any time to the best solution you found by clicking the multicolor wheel. Advanced scoring. Do you know what? I think I've got enough to just mess with it because I'm not going to try and take over the game or anything. I'm just going to go with a random one this time. And we'll do something easy, because I don't know what I'm doing. Again, this is Philo. We're trying to find the cure for Ebola. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going to move these down. Let me just do one. If I can figure out how to do one, then... Okay. done it okay stage two I got a green thing hmm well is this just a case of moving everything down where's the game I need to know what the actual game is because at the moment it looks like I just move stuff can I move up no I can only move left hmm I have no idea You can slide them all across like beads. Ah, now that's useful. I think.
I'm greatly confused by this game. Oh, I've nearly beaten it, Yelby. to have a gap. Hmm. Hang on a minute. When the long night comes. What is this? Music. <laughs> it's hard, man. When the long night comes, return to the end at the beginning. Hmm. You break those, it breaks so many more of them. Oh my god, is this what War Games is actually like in the real world? Pretty much. Uh. <laughs> I thought it would be cooler than this. <laughs> yeah. It's turned into some high level Mensa challenge now. I'm like, uh, about out of my depth here, guy. I know you made Man. this game and all, but it seems to be... This is, this is, this is like level one. Easy mode. Try to make it the negatives. That's the best one I you know had. There, you know there's a way to hack into the CIA servers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The problem is, is that you have to go through one of these. You have to do this, yeah, so no one actually yeah. does it. Because it's just, you just die of boredom. Oh come yep. on! How do we? How do we? It's annoying now, because I want to beat it, but I'm not going to. So let's just check out another game. Keep oh. in mind that these are games designed to solve real-world problems. Yeah, they so are. Yeah, that's if you why. could beat it, then maybe it would actually be a big deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Yes. Yeah. 
Although if you're a prodigy, uh, you know, maybe it is easy. Try it out. You could be the next Einstein, and we'd all be cured of cancer. Oh, wait, what level did I have it on? I've got it on, like, in what? I don't know, I just picked something else, and now I'm, like, doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, beat it in one I don't, I don't understand what's it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it seems to be working. It was, until I got here. Now it doesn't work anymore. So well. That's just annoying. I'm sorry, the rats are gonna die. I can't save them. <laughs> right, that was the best score I had so far. something. <clears throat> My score was 174. The highest score is 178. And that was malaria. Oh my god. <clears throat> Dude. This game has generated 329 solutions for malaria. And I think I just did one in my crazy sort of how did I... Well, there you go, guys. Yeah, this, tra this translates to some combination of chemicals. To, this to is pretty that, yeah. sweet. Um, basically, yeah, I analyzed the DNA alignment related to malaria. Play Philo. And, um, yeah. Awesome. One right. day, you will clear... You will cure cancer or something. By playing some game that you've... Because the thing is, you'll find the pattern in the game, which is what they've been trying to look for, too. Well, one day, you may cure and speech impediments. Will never yeah, you might you. cure speech impediments, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, but after everybody trying to use video games to find the cure, we'll have to, we'll have to figure out a cure for whatever the hell diseases are caused by us spending hours on the computer every day. Indeed. Well, I think that's the, this is the cure, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.